Hello and welcome to another video entry from voiceinitiate.com Today what we're going to be discussing is how to split calls within a call center based on their caller ID So we want a scenario whereby we can say if caller is coming into our, calling into our call center and the caller ID of this caller has the caller ID that we would expect from a London based number we want us to be able to say this call should be diverted to this certain group of agents to deal with that call otherwise if the call is from another part of um, the world or the UK it should go to another group of users so what we what we have before us is a script that addresses that problem so if we just quickly go through the script and before we go through the script we just quickly talk about the two numbers the two telephones we're going to be using here so well these these this 111 is going to be the number representing um, where the London based agents are sitting at. So 222 is for all of the calls. So if the call is not London based or is not coming from London, it should go to 222. So of course we have um, a, well, a pretend um, London number basically starts with 020 and then the very next number starts with plus 4420. Depending on how the number is being presented to the call center, it's always important before you write a script that is going to be looking at the caller ID that you do a historical report on your contact center to determine how the numbers are being presented to your call center. Having said that, let's quickly look at the steps in the Java script. So the very first step is the start step, which is obviously the beginning of every script. The very next step we have under the start step is our accept steps, which is similar to you picking up your telephone when you receive a call. So basically the contact center has now accepted this call from the caller and the person who the contact center is accepting the call from contact center is not being picky about who's going to accept the call from because here we have it set to a triggering contact so what other contact triggers this script is the caller is accepted as our caller the very next step we have here is the calling number or get call call contact info at this stage in the script we're trying to gather data or strip data off the incoming call so let's look at the kind of data we can strip off the incoming call. We can strip the calling number, the called number, the arrival type, the last redirecting number, the original called number, the dialed number. So on, on this occasion, we're trying to strip off this call the value of the calling number and we're storing it over here. So these are the variables. So basically there could be anything. It's a variable because we could have a million calls coming in a day and those numbers will obviously vary. So we're going to be storing it in a container, which is a, cont a variable container. And the name of this container is called calling number. So this is a part of them, a part, it's this is going to represent a part of the, the contact center's memory where it's going to be storing these values. So if we look here, we've con configured this variable here. If we double click this section, we can see all the variables that we've configured within the script and if we look here you can see these are the same variables we're seeing here so we've seen the calling number it's been stored in a variable called calling number and we can see the value of it there is empty it's just got two question um, double question marks because um, it's a string so and um, here we can see the type is a string and if we cl right click and say modify you can see how it was created in the first place it was given a type of script string a type and then um a name of calling underscore number which can basically be anything and we just got a double um, quotation mark which is um, where the strings are stored um, we have to have that for us to get our strings put in for this script so that is basically it so the very next step we go to this is the part where the decision comes in and this is a, this is a, a, a code of a line of code that we've issued that we've programmed into the script and let's quickly take a look at what this line is saying <clears throat> so we've got three parts that make up this code so the very first part we're saying we're saying the calling number if that's what that dot means there's a dot there calling number dot starts with 020 we're basically saying calling number remember this calling number is a variable so the calls come in we've stripped the value at this stage and we've filled it into this variable and it should then be populated here then at, at the bottom here we now pull that variable back into the script and we then say dot starts with that is a method so the method is we're pulling the variable its content and we're saying if the content starts with o to o and then we have this sign here which is um, or starts stands for or 
we'll say or the calling number starts with plus four four two zero depending on how the number is presented and then then we have and it is also the calling number the length of it is greater greater than 10 so we're saying if the number starts with 020 or plus 4420 and is greater than 10 then that is truly a call from London and we say at that point we want you to redirect it so if we open up <clears throat> this redirect step we can see here we're redirect, re redirecting the call to a destination and the destination is called London agent trigger number now this again is a variable if we click it we can see we can these once again are all the variables we've created here so let's go find out what these variables mean <clears throat> so if we look here we we've selected London agents trigger number London agent trigger number is sent to 111 as I stated on here in this phone so this is like the main number or the hunt number for the group of agents that receive calls for um, callers with a London caller ID and then this is for all of the calls so basically further down the script if it's a London call it redirects the call to the London based agents or if it's false if it's not if it's not been recognized as a call from London we then say we redirect it elsewhere and if we open that properties of that step we say we can see it's going to a variable called trigger for all other calls trigger for all other calls here is a string value and it has a value of triple two so let's quickly take a look at the script in operation let's see if it can actually do what it says on a tin so we'll quickly to open the script we have to actually debug it we're basically taking a look at what taking a look at what the script is doing in the back end while the script is running live or well this in this case is not running live so but we'll be, I probably won't be debugging it live anyway but basically let's make a few calls right so the very first thing is the first half of London number starts with plus four four depending on how it's presented once again so we'll pick up the line and we'll dial the number for the contact center which is double one three the call comes in activates it activates the script so we accept the call so the call is now going through the start stage by the way this is a a, a step over step so we're allowing to jump past each value within the script or each step within the script so we're now at the get call contact info we're not trying to gather data of that call we're trying to figure out what is the calling number who is calling us so let's allow it to do that step so it's now gathered that call and you can see here it's managed to determine that this call is plus four four two zero let's see if it makes a decision if we go to the next stage and this is where it now starts to decide if the calling number it's truly a London based number let's see what it decides it redirects the call it redirects the call down here which is London agent trigger so it successfully de determined that this call is actually for the London agents so <clears throat> let's allow that step let's see what happens so you can see here it's actually calling the London agents which is 111 you can see it ringing there okay let's let's move on to the next number let's let's debug that script again react to script script is running this time it just says how long the script is going to wait for us for so let's let's take a non London number and let's say um, quadruple five we'll pick up that line we quadruple five once again we've accepted the call and we're now gathering the data we've now determined the script has now determined that this number is from quadruple five let's see what it decides well it's then it's now decided that it's false it's not a London um, based caller um, and it says non London calls should go here so it's now trying to redirect it to the 222 let's see if it succeeds so we can see here 222 is ringing right for the final test there's one last number we've not tested
So we've not tested O2O. -O. Let's see if it can differentiate. So once again, we've accepted this call and it's determined that this call is from O2O. -O. Go to the next step and it says, well, this is true. And then let's see what it does. And we can see here, sorry, we go to the next one. We can see here, 111 is actually ringing. So this is one of the potential ways that we could use to divert calls based on the caller ID. Hope you've enjoyed this presentation. If you need a copy of this um, script, you can download it from www.voiceinitiate.com or you can download it on, from the link that's been presented at the beginning of this presentation. Thanks. Bye-bye.